Hello. In this video, I want to show you how the parametrization in WeChat++ work. Let's have a look at a short example. So for this example, I've, I will create a session called Para and it starts at the 9th of May 2019. Okay. I will use a very simple custom observing mode of 1 gigabit per second and four stations, namely three stations in Wetzel and also Rexma in Santa Maria. Okay, let's have a look at the parametrization. So VSHED++ is divided in station-based parameters, baseline-based parameters, and or these are the source-based parameters and also baseline-based parameters. But they all work the same way, so I will focus on the baseline-based parameters now. Okay, here on this page, you see a couple of things. First of all, here you have a, some input forms where you can manipulate the setup. On the top right, you see the setup, the visual or a representation of the setup. Here on the, on the bottom right, you see a visual representation of the setup. And on the bottom left, you see some info box in case you will hover any element, then you get a little bit more of the more information of what you are currently hovering. Okay, let's start by, by explaining how it's, how it's working. So instead of simply providing a list of all the parameters, Vshed++ uses a tree-based setup for each parameters. So, um, and you can now add new parameters to the tree-based setup or manipulate existing ones. So the idea is really to be as flexible as possible. So you can use different parameters or different time periods of the session and really be creative with your scheduling schedule. Um, um, set up and also optimize your schedule very deeply. Okay, let's have a look in at the default parameters. So by default, Vshed++ already um, introduces two parameter sets. So they are, both of these sets are valid for all parameters and there are the, the default parameters and the multi-scheduling parameters and they are also valid from the whole time period. Okay. Let's add a new par parameter set to this setup. So you can either change existing set, uh, parameters or add new parameters. We want to add a new parameter set. So let's say we want to change the minimum scan time to 120 seconds and also maybe the maximum scan time down to 300 seconds. Let's name this scan times change. So here you simply define which parameter should be changed and then you need to, to define a name for this parameter changes here. So I, I've named it scan times changed. So now I can select now not only the default parameter but also the scan time change parameters. And on the bottom left you see here which parameters are defined for each of the parameters. Okay. And the whole idea is that the uh, Visual Plus Plus will always use the PARM. So as I said, it's a tree-based setup. So Visual Plus Plus will always start at the par parent node and sets all parameters of the parent node. And if it finds new parameters in one of the child nodes, then it will override the PARM parameters with the parameters of the child node. I will explain this in a second. First of all, we need to tell Vshed++ which stations should be using this new set of parameters because so far we have just defined it, but we have not added it to our setup. So we need to tell the uh, Vshed++ which station should be using it. And you can either use one of the stations or use a station group. And by default, you have one group called all, which contains all stations. We will add a new group now with only the Wetzel stations. And here you again have to give this group a name. Let's call it Wetzel. Okay. Now we have said, okay, the Wetzel stations, so on the, top left, uh, on the bottom left, you see these three stations should use the new parameters. And now we need to define during which time period they, they have to use these parameters. And let's simply change it for the first one hour of the schedule. And final point is you need to tell Vshed++ where to put these new parameters 
So as I said, it's a tree-based uh, setup. So you need to define the parent node of these new parameters. In our case, this is the multi-scheduling setup here. And then you can add the setup. And now you see that you have now added a new parameter set, which is affecting only the wet cell stations because they are the member of this parameter set. The parameters which should be changed are the scan is are called scan times changed, and they are defined down here. And this parameter should be valid for the first hour of the session. And on the visual vis representation, we will now see that the Rexma for, for Rexma nothing has changed, but the three wet cell stations they all have now a small little extra bar here on the left. And you see this in um, dark blue. This bar is this parameter set here. And you see for the first one hour, it will now use those minimum scan times and maximum scan times. And for the rest of the session, it will use the parameters of the default parameters. So the default minimum and maximum scan times. So what it does, it, it, it's really the important thing to note uh, or to remember here is that the child parameters, they override the parent parameters. Okay, let's have a look. Let's create this, uh, the schedule and have a look at the output. Okay, I, I start the scheduling and let's have a look at the output. As I said, I call it para, so that's the sched file. And now you can see here simply the duration for every station. So this is Rexma and these are the three um, Vetzeller stations. And as you can see, the minimum scan time of the three wet cell stations is now changed to 120 seconds, but it's only changed for the first one hour. So here, this is the year, the day of the year, and also um, the hour, minute, and second of the sessions. And you see that for the first one hour, the, the minimum scan time was changed to 120 seconds and afterwards it's again changed to 30 seconds, which was the default parameter set. Sometimes the scan time is a little bit higher, but this is due to the minimum target SNR that you want to reach. So if you observe a weaker source, then it's a little bit higher. But nevertheless, most of the time it's 30 seconds because this is our minimum scan time all the way to the end. Okay, let's add even more parameters and let's say now I want also, I also want to change it for the second half of the schedule. So I will change the parameters here. For, so I will change the start and the end time, but I will leave also leave it for for all the wet cell stations and the same parameters. And again, I need to tell Vshed plus plus the parent of the parameters, which you would like to add. And again, I need to select this multi scheduling um, parameter here because you need to define the parent which is valid for this parameter change. And in our case, this one here, this set here, this would um, this would contain the wet cell station, so that's correct. And but it has a different time period, so that's just the parameterization of this one hour. So you can also only add new ch childs or new parameter chains here for the first one hour. But we want to change the second half of the schedule. So if I, if I would try to add it here, it would complain that the time span is, is not correct. So I need to select this parameter here because it covers all the stations and it also covers all the time span that I want to change. So I can add the setup here. And then you see on the top or on the bottom here again that there is now a green bar appearing. Green bar is this parameter set here. And if I now run the schedule again and have a look at the output. Then I would see that for the first one hour, the minimum scan time is changed to 120 seconds. Then it's again 30 seconds. And as soon as it's 12 o'clock, then it's again changed to 120 seconds because I've defined this in my parameter set, setup. Okay, let's, let's maybe also change the parameters for the Rexma station. So let's add new parameters and say Rexma is not available during a certain time period. So if I, I change the parameter uh, or I will add a new parameter, which is called down. And I simply change the availability of this, sta of this station to no. And then I again need to say, okay, during what time or 
is it is a uh, Rex mode down and let's simply add it from two to three o'clock. And again, I need to define the right parent and again, the multi-scheduling um, par parameter set is the right one because it contains Rexma for the whole time period. So that's the parent parameter that I, that I have to choose. For example, if I would like to add it here, let's try it, then it will, would also um, complain because um, here I've, I've chosen a, a station Rexma, which is not part of this parameter set, parameter set here. So I need to select the multi-scheduling setup here. And then, okay, let's close this. And then if I look at Rexma, then I see that now here we have new parameters and the other stations are not affected, only the Rexma. And let, now let's even add new parameters. For example, let's also add um, Rexma in tagalong mode for a certain time period. And let's say I've now added new parameters. I now I'm now changing it to tagalong mode. Yes, I call this parameter tagalong mode. Click OK, and I need to define the time during which this station should be in tagalong mode. And let's put it on tagalong mode between four and six o'clock. So let's add the setup here. Then you will see here now that from two to three o'clock, it will use the parameters down and the parameters down will set the availability to false. And during um, four to six o'clock, it will, it will use the parameters tag along and the parameters tag along will add it in tag along mode. Let's start the schedule and have a look at the output. Okay, so as you can see, so 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 far this is the the change from the previous change. So we have changed the um, scan time to 120 seconds for the first stations, but then at two o'clock station Rexma or uh, Rexma is not scheduled anymore because there is downtime, and the downtime is from two o'clock until three o'clock here. And then if you move further, then we'll see. Then you will see at four o'clock. It, it is often happening that Rexma is not participating in a scan. So Rexma is only participating in a couple of scans. And this is because Rexma is now put on tagalong mode. So, so it is mainly scheduled based on the three bed cell stations and only if available, Rexma is also added to the schedule. And this happens until six o'clock and from six o'clock, Rexma is almost always participating in all stations. And at 12 o'clock, again, the minimum scan time is changing. Okay, so let's add one minor, one final thing. So, so make it a little bit clearer or maybe add one extra thing. So I will now add a new parameter and now I will change the minimum scan time even further. Now let's change it to 200 seconds. And let's say, let's call this more min scan time give this parameter again a name, click OK. And now let's say I want to add it just for two stations. So I have to find a new group and I only want to change it for the two twin telescopes. So let's give this group a new name. I call it Wetzel Twins. And then I need to define when do I want to change it. And let's change it for the last one, for the last two hours of the schedule. So the, the members I want to change is with cell twins and the time period is for the last, last two hours of the schedule. So I need to select the right parent. And in our case, the right parent is this one here because it contains the two twin stations and it contains the time period I want to change. And now I can add the new setup. Okay. And if I now, and, and now if I go to, to the wet cell stations, now I see that there is a new parameter appearing, the purple one. And during the last two hours of the um, session, it will use the minimum scan time from, of 20 seconds. So in, also under the hood, Vshed++ will, as I said earlier, the thing that you should remember is that the child parameters always override the parent parameters. So Vshed++ will first of all see, okay, the minimum scan time is defined as 30 seconds in the default parameters. Then it will see, okay, the default parameters have a child, namely this minimum scan time change during this period. 
and this chi child will overwrite the minimum scan time to 120 seconds and then WeChat++ will see, okay, but this child again has another child and this child is again changing the minimum scan time to 100, uh, now to 200 seconds. So let's have a look at the setup or at the, at the schedule that we get. Let's load the last one. And you will now see that here it's still scheduling the Vezelte twin stations for 120 seconds, but for the last two hours of the session, so from 10 p.m. onwards, it will change the minimum scan time of the two stations to 200 seconds. So these parameters are overwriting the parent parameters and the parent parame parameters were also overwriting the their parent parameters. So you can see this here that this is the default parameters. They get overwritten by those parameters and also by those parameters. But of course, only the parameters that you have defined here are overwritten. So for example, in the case of the, the more min scan time parameter, if I have a look at the parameter again, I will only overwrite those parameters because they are selected. I will, I can also add new parameters to this, to this, but yeah, so you can really do whatever you like. So you're really flexible with creating your schedule and setting everything up and defining everything. But most of the time for almost all um, sessions, it's not really necessary. So that's more for if you do some advanced scheduling. But so most of the time, all you need to do is um, you need to and or let's start differently. So if you add something here, don't be afraid. So if you add something wrong, then it will complain and it will stop you from doing that. So, and if you add something and you want to change it, then you can always remove the selected parameters. So now this, the, the setup is at the beginning. And what I wanted to say earlier that most of the time, it's not really necessary to, to go very deep into this settling um, setup. So most of the time it, it is sufficient to just change the default parameters a little bit. So just change the default parameters a little bit and maybe add one or two new parameters like down, um, town time or, or change something on tagalong mode or something like this. But that's all you need to do usually. But of course, if you want, you can also do a lot more as I've shown you now. But most of the time, all you need to do is really add a new parameter, change the availability of to know, save it, and then add it for the downtimes or something like this, and then you're good to go. But you have the option to even go deeper. I hope this is a little bit clearer now. In case it's not, then please always, you can always enter the, the help mode and click on an element, then you get a lot of extra help or read the FAQ list of, about the station source and baseline based parameterization. So I have also added a lot of text here to help you. Okay, that's all from my side and thanks for watching.